What did you learn from Langston Hughes, and how did you first meet him? I first met, well, of course, I had known his work all along. Of course. Yes. Um, and one of the things that struck me, The Big Sea, and I wonder as I wander, his two books about traveling, I came across in the library as a teenager, and I knew that he was the writer for me because this is exactly what I wanted to do. The Big Sea meaning to travel, you know. I wonder, I wonder as I wander. That that struck me as just the most marvelous life that one could possibly have and also be a writer, you see. So he was someone that I admired from early on. From early. Triangular Road is yes. the name of your memoir. What yes. are the three points? The three points are, in a sense, what defines me. Um, I was born in Brooklyn, New York, USA, so that is very much there. My parents came from a tiny, tiny island in the Caribbean um, called Barbados. That's the second link. And then I was invited um, some years ago to visit Africa and saw, just as I was doing research for the trip, uh, looking at maps, saw that Barbados was the first point, this little tiny island, was the first point for many of the slave ships coming from the Gold Coast. So there are the three points that define me. How did it change you, having actually experienced Africa, a piece of it anyway, mm -hmm. in person? In person, it was, in a sense, coming home and feeling very comfortable there, but all, and also feeling embraced. All of these people at the conference, it was a conference, a big conference held in Nigeria, in Lagos. All of these other scholars and writers from Africa and, and so on were coming over to kind of, of um, tell me what part of my face, <laughs> what part of my face belonged to them. <laughs> the shape yes. of the nose, the lips, the, you know, the contour of the cheeks and so on. As you um, write, uh, that, that Africa represents, quote, the greater portion of my tripartite self yes. that I had yet to discover, yet to know. And yet to know. Do you keep going back? No, the, the, what I'm going to be working on next is that further penetration into Africa to discover that self. Where do you want to go? I'm going to, um, I've touched base there uh, uh, once or twice. I'm going to start out uh, in Kenya, then go down to, uh, then to Uganda, and as further south as I can get. And you write that the, the Atlantic is, mm -hmm. quote, an entire ocean permanently sitting Shiva. Yes, sitting Shiva. When you walk along the Atlantic, you can hear a kind, and as it comes in, in a powerful waves, it's as if it's tearing itself apart. And you know, the, the whole ritual in Shiva is uh, the Jewish uh, ritual of mourning where the women, you know, sort of tear their clothes and so on. As I walked, the first time I walked along the Atlantic in Barbados, I said, this sea is sitting Shiva for the... Uh, for the tyranny that took place. Do you think our country is starting to come to terms with the heritage of slavery in a meaningful way? Well, I think there's emotions, yes, I think so, uh, but uh, there is so much more, so much more by way of practical acknowledgement that it still needs to be done.